Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the first video that I am recording in my new home and right now I am standing in the foyer. Um, the front door is right here. So this is the first area that you see when you walk in. So I decided that this would be a good little place for me to start um, a video on and introduce you guys to the home and some of the items that I've been buying for the home. So before I get started, just to address what I'm drinking, I am drinking... I'm drinking a Dunkin' Donuts uh, strawberry dragon fruit refresher with green tea. Um, and I take no ice in it because the ice waters it down. It is so good. If you guys have ever tried it, this is really good. And it's not as bad as the Starbucks pink drink, which I always used to get. So I'm glad that habit is gone and I've replaced it with this. Um, but it's really good. Really quick before I get started, just wanted to let you guys know that this top is an Amazon find. So if you guys are interested, these come in several different colors. They are so light and refreshing. They have really light embroidery and you can wear it with a tank top, a sports bra, or however you like. Um, this one is in the beige color and they come in black in a coffee color, ivory, and then this one. So I will leave the link to this top below if you guys are interested. And also the earrings are from MuñecaWear.com. They are 14 karat gold plated um, lightweight hoop earrings. I've had these for over a year and they don't tarnish they're so lightweight and these are like my everyday earrings so if you guys are looking for something nice to wear on the daily to make you feel you know kind of put together and dress up you can dress these casually or dress them up with something fancy and they will still um make you look really nice so these are only about 12.99 and i will leave a link for the earrings below also so to get started on my home decor haul um i want to address the big old statement mirror right behind me because this is my favorite piece um, in this area. It's an oversized round mirror that I found in Ikea. It's a 42 inch, it's a 42 or 43. And it was about $140 when I bought it um, late last year uh, while the house was being finished, being built. But look at how gorgeous it is. It has a black frame and I just love the size. It just makes a statement when you come in and I just love the fact that it reflects anything pretty that you put in front of it that's why I have so much go I mean this is not how I have my council table dress um, this is just a lot of stuff that I just kind of threw here to show you guys but I will give you guys a tour um, once I finish putting everything in its place right now I just have a big mess here um, with a lot of items that I've purchased and I'm trying to figure out you know what goes where and how am I going to style each piece and everything like that but the mirror Ikea $140 um they also do come in different finishes the frames but I wanted the black one because I'm really liking the black and white look and um, I'm so happy I got this one so for the entryway table itself, I decided to go with a Kalax unit from Ikea. These are usually about $99. Um, they might have went up since everything is going up in price. But I bought it for $99. And on um, this council, um, we decided to add some drawers and some doors. So I'm going to give you guys um, a sneak peek because I know you can't see because of how the camera's angled. But... I will be showing you guys um, how that looks. And for the bottom slots, we bought four of these at baskets to keep our everyday shoes in. That way we don't have a clutter of shoes in our, in our rooms or in the laundry or in the front door. So all the shoes are in here. I'm actually thinking about spray painting these black because, um, I mean, I like the natural wood grain color, but because our floors are also a natural, you know, grain color, um, I kind of, it's kind of like not standing out. So I might just spray paint the face of it so that way when it is in the slot, um, it kind of stands out. So that might be happening, but we have four of them going across the bottom for our shoes. And in the drawers, we just like to keep like our keys, our sunglasses, and just things that we can grab really quick on our way out. Then in the little cabinets here, I just like to keep extra candles and uh, just, you know, some decor that I'm not using yet. So I'm going to start with the picture frames that I have here. They are beautiful. I got these from Home Goods. They were $7.99 each. And obviously I love them because they're silvery 
and white glitter and I just love these I just wanted to put some you know some nice family pictures um, in our entryway so that you know gives it a nice homey feel um, I will be of replacing the pictures I have to print out um, some pictures I want to do probably all black and white um, of the family um, these silver candlestick holders I found at Ross they were all on clearance and they didn't come with the candle but this one in particular the small one was $4.99 on clearance and these are like these were made in India so they're like artesian design and it's almost like a hammered finish, but not really. It just looks really nice. It has a very nice, unique, polished look to it. So that one was $4.99. The tallest one was $6.49 on clearance. And then this one was $5.49. So these three piece sets um, I found at Ross. And they also, I've seen them in gold also. So if you guys like the gold metallic accent color, they do have that available. These candles are actually the flameless um, candle candlesticks, tapered candles. Um, they have a realistic, waxy, you know, feel and look to them, which I love. The actual um, fl flame does not move, but if you can see, the light itself kind of flickers, so it gives a realistic um, flame look to them. So I really like these. These came in a pack of six from Amazon. Um, everything that's going to be from Amazon, I will leave linked below so you guys, um, in case you guys wanted to grab anything that I show, um, the link will be below. But these came in a pack of six and I got three up here already. These are the ivory ones. So I'm really liking the neutral color, the natural um, creamy white with against the white, and then obviously with the black. It looks absolutely gorgeous. So it just looks really cute. I'm really glad I found this. I'm not gonna be leaving this here. It's gonna go somewhere else. This miniature lamp I found at Home Goods for $24.99, and it has kind of like that mosaic broken up, you know, mercury glass look, and I love it. I thought it'll be cute for this little area. I didn't want a big lamp because I didn't want it to overpower the whole section. So this gives off the right amount of light um, so that when I don't want to use, you know, brighter light, I can just use this one. It's nice and dim. It gives a beautiful ambiance nice soft lighting and i love it so i think that's perfect there um right here i have a wax um cube warmer and i love using these um, instead of candles because these to me i can kind of like set it and forget it i don't have to you know remember to turn them off or anything like that and they continuously give off a nice light scent um the waxes that i use are from hobby lobby and the one I love is Italian Linen. Um, it says pressed cotton, green vine, and citrus. It smells so good. It's so light and refreshing. It just smells very clean, um, but not in a soap way. It's kind of like a nice, refreshing, clean, like in a, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, like in a greenery, environmental way. So I really like that. I always have it here, and I have one upstairs and another table that I have upstairs for that continuous flow of just freshness so i'm really loving that this orchid i found at tj maxx and uh, how much was this i think this was about 16.99 that's how much they're pretty much going for anywhere you would look this one i liked because it has the white vase and it's kind of like i don't know kind of like faceted like this has to mention and i love that pop of green i love the white orchids again white on white i am living for it and inside the pot it has like white little rocks like little pebbles so it's really cute and i really like it i really like it um here in the middle it's not too big where it's taking up a lot of mirror space but um it's really cute the good thing about this is that i can actually use this design in other places in my home it's not just for here but this is where it's going to be for now and i really like it let me show you guys this mirror because this mirror i actually <laughs> bought it for my vanity in my bedroom so i could do my makeup and i ended up feeling like it was a little too narrow um so it just it didn't fit the bill so i almost returned it i got this from ross for 19.99 but obviously what i loved about it is the shape it's a nice little oval 
shape and the diamonds that are trimmed in it and it's just so cute i love it um so i sat it down i was gonna take it back and i was like wait a minute this i can use this as a tray it looks gorgeous i might relocate this to the dining um room so i don't know yet i'm still trying to figure out where everything is gonna go so that's that this little number i found at tj maxx for 9.99 i was actually wanting to buy it in black um, I've seen these around so many stores for so long and I never picked it up and um, yeah I finally found one but it was in white I might spray paint it black I'm not sure but I just love the unique design um, so I, this one was from TJ Maxx this candlestick holder that I found at Ross um, was $9.99 and I love it one because it's black and two because it has a unique like architectural design it's so cute it just brings interest into the area and I love it I might just keep those two like that and maybe put a little bit of like floral right here maybe some greenery so that might work obviously I got a little round candle this was from Hobby Lobby it was about $4.99 and I got the round uh, candle for that candle um, holder so let me share with you guys some coffee table books that I picked up and there's one that I'm going to be using here on the entryway and it's called Feels Like Home but let me show you guys this is from Hobby no this is from Home Goods for $19.99 and I loved it because obviously it brings it has all the homey feels but besides that it's a nice blue color which I decided to bring some blue into my home for the calming um, benefits but this book is actually really inspiring it's um it gives you so many ideas and so many recommendations and it explains so much about color theories and each room and you know m more in a minimalistic kind of way so it's it's really nice i really really love this I, it even teaches you how to do the uh wainscoting so I just love it. it. It shows you so many different stages and arranging furniture and using decor, you know, what colors work with what. It's just full of so much information that's actually useful. So it's very interesting. So I'm glad I got this book and I like to display it here again because you get the, um, the little hints of blue, which you'll see throughout my home. But um, it also, you know, it brings, it starts that homey vibe because of the title. And I also picked up a few coffee table books. And these are just two that I have on hand. I did get the Minimalista book from Home Goods for $19.99. Now this is a kind of like a neutral, minimal coffee table book about m minimalist designs and stuff like that. So again, this is another book that teaches you, shows you a lot about just home, home ideas. It goes into so much. It's just worth having. It's very interesting. And the other one I have is called Vogue on Kristen Dior's, basically Kristen Dior's story. And of course, I think I picked it up because it was blue. This one was $16.99 from Home Goods. And um it's just interesting just you know just a fashion book nothing too crazy but yeah this is one that i got which i will be putting over there um in my living room so this is one of my favorite room and linen sprays this is italian linen um by commonwealth soap company this was 6.99 i found it at tj maxx guys this really does freshen up your bed sheets every morning when I do my bed. I like to spray a little over the pillows and the sheets and it just gives the air a light smell and just a refreshing scent. I really love this. It's very affordable and it's my favorite scent. I'm glad I found it. They also have different scents. They have lavender and a few other ones, but this one by far is my favorite. So if you guys use Italian linen, let me know in the comments below because this is this is an amazing, light, refreshing scent if that's something that you want. So this is a little bit random, a little bit not really home decor, but this is something that I purchased because I was trying to figure out, while, while I was watching someone else's video, I'm trying to figure out why are we still using a mop bucket and a mop, <laughs> believe it or not. So I decided to get this microfiber spray mop, and it was only $16.99 on Amazon. I will leave it linked below, but um, it comes... 
I already put it together. I haven't used it yet, but it comes, you know, in that little box. So it was dismantled, but it comes with three of these microfiber detachable pads that you can mop or kind of dust and swift um, and then wash them. So there's three of these and this is the pretty much the body of the thingy. This is where you put your mopping solution. I got the color uh, beige because everything in my home, uh, the floors are kind of like a gray and the walls are a little on the gray side too. So I... <laughs> Oops. So I didn't want to do so much gray on gray on gray. So I decided to just do a little pop of neutral here. But yeah, it's already put together. This is where the cleaning solution goes. Here's your handle. It's a nice little rubbery grip. They even have a little attachment, maybe if you got to scrub something off the floor or scrape. And it just kind of like snaps onto the pole. And then this is the handle and this is the squirt thingy. Um, that lets the solution out. The other two microfiber thingies are in here. So this was just something random, but it is definitely something um, that will help in the home. So I decided to share it with you guys because why are we still using a mop bucket? I don't, I don't understand. That's, I didn't get it until I saw that video and I'm like, oh my gosh, we're still using a mop bucket. I got some <laughs> other stuff here. So the Fragrance diffusers, I have developed a love for them because guys, these are like, these have become my best friend lately because I am loving one that they serve as a little token of decor and then they, they just smell so good and they're continuous, continuous scent and they where you leave them. So it's, it's just really nice. This one is Magnolia Blossom by... TJ Maxx. This was at TJ Maxx. Originally $9.99, but I got it for six bucks. Obviously, look at the um the ceramic vase and um with the little floral and it has the black sticks. So the black and white is gonna look really nice wherever I set it, maybe right here or wherever I put it. But guys, TJ Maxx and Ross has a lot of like the wax warmers and the diffusers. Um, you just gotta look for the scent that you like. They're usually anywhere from like six to 10 bucks, but they're so worth it if you don't wanna spend so much money on expensive candles. These are, these are worth looking into. This is just some uh, sponges that I got because we gotta replace the ones that I bought. So these are just some scrubbies that we like to have in our tub. And we've developed a love for liquid soap. <laughs> so uh, these are going to the bathroom. I don't know if you were able to see off the reflection um, from the mirror, but I have this vase right here in a little nook um, in my foyer. And look how gorgeous, guys. Look at how gorgeous. Now this is glass. Uh, this I got from Ross for $49.99 and i just i grabbed it because i was like we we need this and these um floral stems are not the best but i got these from tj maxx these look tj maxx $16.99 <clears throat> and i have two of them and obviously i can always change these out but <laughs> i really love the vase i just wanted to show you that um ross does sometimes have these really exquisite pieces that I, you know, you could probably find somewhere else for so much more, but this one actually, I didn't even see one, one flaw or blemish on it. So let me show you guys what I have in the drawers. Okay. So this is a little token that I bought from Ross for $5.99 and it's in this mint color with some, some greenery and it just looks so nice and peaceful because I was going to use mint and gold and silver in my office, but I haven't gotten to that yet, but I have this here for when I am ready for it. And here we have a white candle from Better Homes and Garden. It's salted coconut and mahogany. This smells so good. I love it. This was about 10 or $12 at Walmart, actually. So this was, you know, this is something that I want because of course it's white, but um, I love the scent. I love the mahogany and coconut. And I have some candlestick holders in there, but let me see what else I have. 
I have my Bibles here. <laughs> this frame I found at uh, Ross for $11.99. It's a Coco Chanel frame, and I don't, I've never seen something like this. This was only $11.99, 12 bucks. So I grabbed it because I figured I could probably put it near my vanity or maybe in my office or somewhere in my closet, maybe. I don't know, but it was just too cute. It was black and white with the silver. I went like this and just added to cart because, oh my God, it's, it's cute and it's the simplicity, you know, the, the bougie of it all. <laughs> Something else that I picked up at Ross was this. I have two of them actually. These were $9.99 each. These are little frames, you know, with the florals that have a mixture of gray and gold with the white frame. I love it. I love it. Um, I just have to find the perfect wall for it. The decor is perfect. I just need to know where to put it. So, um, yeah, this might not be a good way of shopping for things, but trust me, if I didn't get this, I would have regretted it because then I would have found the wall and I would have been like, those frames would have been perfect. Um, and then I would have went back to the store and they wouldn't have it because um, somebody else bought it. So I'm not making that mistake again. This frame was on clearance for $14.99. I thought it was so cute with the loud pop of green. I was like, I could put this somewhere in the house. This was from Ross, so I'm telling you guys, if you guys need a nice art um, with some color for your walls, Ross is the place to go. They have so many nice pieces. Finally, I want to share the last item or items that I picked up, and that would be a whole bunch of sun bleached baskets. Um, I bought a few of these, which are sun bleached. I love it because again, it's it's it has white with the natural colors. But I also bought the brown ones. This was actually from Home Goods for $6.99. By the way, they have these in gray, in black, in the wood tone, um, and the sun bleached ones. I really like this. I don't know why, but um, I have so many baskets. I have one almost in every single room. I may have overdone it with the baskets, so but uh, i think that was it guys for this haul um, i think i said a mouthful i shared quite a few things but this is just things that i have here um i'm gonna be sharing uh, more items with you very soon so if you're interested again go ahead and subscribe and i will talk to you guys really soon i hope you enjoyed let me know which piece you really liked and um i will talk to you guys soon until then take care stay safe and I'll see you soon.